Oops, this still needs to go over here. All right, so we're taking a look at delegate.cache. This is the view of the website when you go to delegate.cache for the URL. And the whole reason you would do this is so that you can provide some safety for your NFTs. Now, why would you need to do that? One of the things that people do once you get an NFT is you use that NFT as a way to prove ownership for membership so that you can participate in some other thing. So for example, I'm a part of a community and members of that community can get special access to other NFT related activity. And what I can do, protect my membership NFT offline in my cold wallet and still participate with my hot wallet. So instead of storing that membership NFT in my hot wallet, where it could be drained if someone were to hack my account, I store it in my cold wallet, which is safe and sound, but I can still access it so that I can get the benefits of having it. Okay, that's what it says right here. Claim airdrops, prove ownership, and more from your hot wallet. So I'm going to just step through how to do this. So, okay, connect my vault like a ledger first. So I'm going to connect my wallet, go to my MetaMask, and it is connected, but that's my hot wallet. So I'm going to connect another wallet. I'm going to go to my MetaMask, and it's going to say action required in MetaMask. So I'm going to open up MetaMask, go to my other vault, which is here. Okay, so I'm connected to this hot wallet that is connected to my Ledger cold wallet. I've connected to my cold wallet, and now it says put in your hot wallet. So submit delegation, right? And then it's going to open up your MetaMask. It's going to say new address connected. But you need to do one thing first, which is you need to enable smart contract data. So make sure you do that on your Ledger first then you can um, confirm this, all right? And what then happens when that is all done is you will see when I go to manage delegations for this, it shows that this cold wallet is being delegated to my hot wallet, okay? So there you go. Now, one other thing that I will just mention is that if you want to you know, like look at a NFT portfolio, so to speak, in a wallet, then that may not work so nicely unless that gallery system for displaying the NFTs will use or um, respect or allow for using delegate.cache as a way of representing that. So it's not like you can just automatically start using delegate.cache everywhere. The site which would allow for recognizing what's in your cold wallet through delegate.cache that site needs to implement delegate.cache first. So this is not a silver bullet, but it is definitely cool. And you can see who's using it here. And this right now is, you know, it's only these networks that you can access through your like MetaMask wallet. All right, so there we go. That's my quick and dirty little delegate.cache video. Have a great one.